Dr. McLaughlin got called to the emergency room to evaluate an intracranial hemorrhage, and he's going to go over his thoughts on our walk to the ER. Okay, so this person has a CAT scan, and they have uh, an intraparenchymal hemorrhage. Uh, what that means is it's within the brain tissue itself. And the important things to uh, check uh, in patients with these type of hemorrhages are, first of all, are they protecting their airway? So blood clots can uh, cause pressure on the brain stem, which can suppress your respiratory responses in the medulla. And so they need, we need to verify that they can protect their airway. Um, if they are protecting their airway, then we want to get a good neuro exam and make sure that they can follow commands to find out if they have a neurological deficit on one side or the other. And then we need to determine whether this is something surgical or not, and that is based on the size of the blood clot, what the etiology of the blood clot is, that is what caused it, and you know, is it amenable to surgery. And then we have to also take into account the patient's age and certainly their wishes. All of those things are very important. So I can take those, you know, one, one step at a time and we can go over them. So age is important. Um, obviously if somebody's, you know, in their nineties or, you know, sometimes even we get cold or bleeds as a, a patient who's a hundred, we really need to, you know, feel the patient out and the family out as to what the patient's wishes were. Um, because taking somebody to surgery at that age is, has carried significant, significant risk. The other thing we want to know is, are they on any antiplatelet agents or any blood thinners, which could complicate the surgery? Um, also, we want to know, you know, what was their pre-morbid status? I mean, was this person, you know, uh, in a nursing home with um, Alzheimer's dementia? Probably not somebody we would consider a, a good surgical candidate uh, versus someone who was active and, and uh, doing well uh, the day of the of the bleed, so all of these factors come into play, and that's what makes the makes medicine the art of medicine rather than the science. It's part science, it's part art. So we need to calculate all of those things into our uh, decision making tools.